Hi everyone, this video is sponsored by Airy Craft Shop. They have wonderful digital stamps and they have a great variety, so please go check them out. This is a new release stamp and it's called Buzz and it is on sale and they are on sale for a limited time. All the new releases are on sale for a limited time. So if you want to grab it, you better grab it now at a great price and I'll link the store down below. And this is just my Spectrum Noir and my Copic chart so I can pick out colors. And I'm going to use a variety of colors and I usually color with Spectrum Noir markers. I usually color lightest to darkest. And with Copics, uh, sometimes I uh, do the darkest to lightest. It just depends on what I'm coloring. And this is Georgia Pacific cardstock. And just remember your cardstock makes all the difference when you're alcohol marker coloring. So you got to have the right cardstock. And so I'm going to start with a Copic here. And this is blue. And I wanted to color these flowers to look like cone flowers. And those come in a variety of colors. So I'm just picking out what colors I want to use um, first. You know, what, what are my favorite colors? And those are the ones I'm picking them out. So I'll just color here and you can watch me color.
And for the bees, uh, I want to color their head a dark color, their head and their like torso. But I know with my markers, it's too small of an area. So I'm going to color these with a dark colored pencil. And these are just some cheapy colored pencils. And I'm going to color it with black. And then that way I don't have to worry about uh, um, alcohol marker bleeding. So that's what I like to do with small areas is actually use colored pencils. And the bees have some detailed eyes, so I'm just using a gel pen and I'm just going to dot those eyes just to define them a little bit. And I like to use my handy dandy magnifying glass when I'm coloring small areas. Uh, that way I, I can see better, so <laughs> I like to use it. For the wings, I'm just going to use my Spectrum North Sparkle pen and I'm just going to color the wings just to give them a little bit of shimmer. And there I am trying to show you the shimmer of the bee's wings, but I don't know why I always do that, but you can never see it. <laughs> but I still try. And now I'm going to color the background and I'm going to use a Copic for this. And I picked a nice like aqua blue type color. So I'm going to go uh, around the whole image and all the white you know, spaces. I'm not going to color this, this entire card stock. But I'm going to color enough so it looks like a nice pretty background. This is just a standard A2 size card base in blue. And then I have pink and yellow. The pink is four and uh, five and a quarter. And the yellow is three and three fourths by five. And I used this die from Fun Stamper's Journey. And it's called the Film Strip Frame Die. And I used that on the flowers, on the flower coloring I did. I just laid that over the top and cut it out. And I'll be using liquid adhesive to glue that onto the yellow cardstock. I chose liquid adhesive because it has a lot of spaces. And so I didn't think a tape runner would work very good. So I'm just going to put some liquid adhesive on there and glue it to the yellow piece of cardstock.
and I'll be taking that piece and I'll be gluing it onto the pink cardstock and I will use my tape runner for that and then I'll glue uh, those two layered pieces onto the blue uh, card base. And now to add a sentiment, I am actually using, this is an embossing uh, label maker, and I, I pick this up at Goodwill. <laughs> I pick them up whenever I find them. You can never have enough embossing label makers. <laughs> and I have some fancy uh, label tape in there, and I am just going to print Be Kind, and then I will stick it uh, kitty corner in the corner of the card. And that's it. My card is finished. I just love these digital stamps from Airy Craft Shop. This is a new release. It is called Buzz. And it's, it's really pretty. And she has a lot more digital stamps in her store. And I will link that down below. And remember, I've made it easy for you to subscribe. All you have to do is click on my avatar or my profile picture. And I will have a couple of other interesting videos to the left. Thanks for watching. Bye.